Yes, <laughs> yes. Don't move because it's going to fall. Oh, my f***ing God. All right, guys, welcome back to the photo breakdown where I break down photo sets I've created bit by bit, pointing out light setups, how my team and I captured it along with the camera settings and any additional EXIF data along with the creative process. I'm creating the series to give you an insider look to my process, not only to, you know, showcase, but to highlight gear used during the sessions with an educational perspective for you to learn from. All right, guys, so to give you guys some background, we were creating this photo shoot for Kay, who has been creating some looks and content for October uh, for some photo competitions that she's been participating in that she does yearly. They pay out some amazing prizes. At the same time, she wanted to do a photo shoot for each zodiac sign. And that is why we were shooting this set. And this one happened to be for Scorpio. So one thing's for sure, Kay hates spiders, she hates bugs, so she definitely hates scorpions. We got ourselves a real scorpion, which was dead, and she faced her fears. She started off really scared of the scorpion, she didn't want to touch it, she didn't want to do anything with it, but she knew that she had to do it for the photo shoot. You can do it! <laughs> um, but, you know, you'll see through the video how everything progresses. Now that the competitions are over, we can release the photos and I can talk about them. Quite honestly, when I was editing these photos, I sat on them for quite a while. I don't know. I just, I wanted them to be winning shots. I wasn't sure how to edit them, where they can be captivating. Yes, we used a real dead scorpion. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, I didn't, it was really cool, but I felt that it wasn't as captivating as I wanted it to be. So it took me some time to finalize on the final look of this photo set with all of the fire, the fire embers and, and all of that. As you can see on my screen right now, this is my favorite photo from this set, which I ended up using and creating a limited edition t-shirt, which is available on my merch store. Remember, it's limited edition. So I only have a handful of these. I'm never gonna print this again. First come, first serve. So if you wanna support this channel, go ahead to my merch store get yourself a limited edition t-shirt all right let's break it all down let's talk about the setup so there is another video that exists with some content from this shoot we shot a small reel for instagram and created some photos using pilot cine lights you can find that video here on my channel or by clicking the link on the top right of the screen the whole shoot took place at Kay's beauty studio in Orlando. We made it super easy for her to work on her look and at the same time shoot. So we brought the mobile studio to her and my favorite mobile backdrop is the Westcott X drop using the black backdrop. All right, so here's the saucy part of the video. How do I light it? I used a total of two lights and a reflector. The key light was one 8200 combined with the magma 24 inch mag box it set camera right and angled at about 45 degrees if you know me you know that i love to use a curve reflector the key light is a little closer to the reflector and having it at 45 degrees helps with the spread of light landing on k but at the same time land on the reflector which will then reflect some of that light onto the chin area fill some shadows and provide some amazing catch lights which i love in this video i'm using a large curve reflector but I'm gonna link you guys to the new favorite, super small and super easy to transport, Curve Reflector by Angler. The second light is the Flashpoint V863, paired with two mag grids, which are little honeycomb grids to diffuse and direct the light to K's left profile. This light also has a mag gel in yellow to give that effect that the scene K's in has yellow tones around her, almost like she's around a fire. All right, so whenever I'm doing anything above the shoulder, I usually try to stick with the 90 millimeter. So that was the lens of choice for this photo session. Now onto the EXIF data. The camera settings were shutter speed was one over 250. The aperture was set to F5 with the ISO at 400. The flash power on my key light was one over 64. And then the speed light with the yellow gel was set to one over 128. All right, guys, I just gave you all of it. The camera settings, the light setups, all of the gear that I used. Now, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I would love to help you out. Give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, tap that bell button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.